What's going on guys? So we are out here at ROA Off-Road at their Experience Center just south of Salt Lake City, Utah. I got Shane, one of the owners here with me. Hello. So, so Shane has really done a great job of kind of setting all of these super cool off-road RVs up and we've already walked through several of them or at least walked around several of them, introduced you to the company, the brand, their mission, their culture, all of that stuff. So definitely go back and check out the videos that we've made before this if you just want to see what's out here and then maybe find the specific one you may be looking for. So in front of us is this OBI, obicamper.com and this is the Dweller. So this is a really, really cool, this is an off-road RV. RV, not inspired off-road, but this is an actual off-road RV. Now, Shane, before we dive into it a little further, let's talk about some numbers. So the gross vehicle weight rating on this one was like 5,700 something pounds. The uh, dry weight on it was like 4,500 pounds. Yeah, closer to 48. So you bet got about a thousand pounds of payload capacity on it. Okay, and this thing's super small. So what's, uh, do you know what the approximate length yeah, of this unit is? 17, just over 17 and a half feet long. That's closed up. It, uh, it, it's a high so it pops up and actually the back opens up for a bed so the inside you have a lot of floor space when it's all open but when it's closed up it's pretty compact yep in my opinion um, at this weight class you know you could have a nice half ton four-wheel drive truck that could easily tow this a uh, full-size SUV you're definitely gonna want an SUV or a pickup truck with about 6,000 pounds or more maybe a little bit more of tow capacity um, hitch weight on something like this I can imagine is probably gonna be about five or six hundred pounds yeah yeah it's around 500 Okay, so yeah, a lot of vehicles could tow this. So it is an American owned company. They're out of um, Arizona, but they do their overseas manufacturing in China. They bring it over here and there's some assembly happening in the US and then owned and operated by Americans. Yep, and from a quality perspective, is it fair to say this is far superior to the quality of other Chinese manufactured RVs that some people may be used to hearing about. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like the very first one to market in the United States, we actually used to carry was the Black Series. Um, now there's a few different brands out there like Opus, MDC. They're all they're all manufactured overseas and then brought here. And then there's some assembly going on. Um, the biggest difference between all of those is Black Series is owned by a Chinese uh, gentleman, and this is owned by an American company. Uh, the MDCs and Opuses are Australian owned companies, um, but they're all kind of doing the same thing where they're importing them overseas. Uh, to me, it's really important that they're owned and operated by the Americans because th then, you know, we just have a different standard of quality and also service and all of those things. It's just, it's a much different uh, experience. Similar to like Australian brands, right? Yeah. As far as what you expect, the quality you expect, what you expect them to be able to accomplish because people may want to take this into some pretty extreme uh, in areas and you want to know that it's going to be able to withstand it. So that was the first thing he told me about this brand is that it is very, very well built. The craftsmanship, the fit and finish uh, materials are just better. Yeah, the components, everything you'll see. I mean, this these are really nice heavy duty tracks, um, all aluminum, you know, laser cut too. And when you close this up, this is your dual zone fridge, 90 liter. Uh, you can make that a fridge or a freezer. And then you shut these up and like just looking at these latches, these you'll see on very heavy, like high end fifth wheels or uh, motor coaches. Uh, this latch right here is, you know, 15 to 20 bucks on Amazon if you go and try to buy one. Uh, you look at just like the hinges, they're super robust. This whole thing is aluminum, right? The whole door, it's not like that cheap where they're just like, you know, putting banding around it, and, you know, slapping some fiberglass on each side yeah. of it. It's a much, you can just tell when you come out and touch it, feel it, the quality is there. Okay, as far as sidewall material? It's, it's all aluminum construction. Uh, you have welded um, rectangular hollow studs for the actual frame with um, insulation board in between. And then you have an actual aluminum skin. Okay. And then this is an aluminum diamond plating. Okay, great. Now, a question that we didn't discuss this, but I feel like it'd be a cool way to kind of approach this. If we're going to rank all of these from one to 10, one being, uh, uh, I don't know, a normal RV people would see at a normal dealership lot, leaf sprung suspension, sidewall, 10 being the most extreme, most capable off-road trailer. And I ask him because they're experts in this. This is what they sell. You 
in the United States, if you want to have the most extreme towable trailer, this is the place you would go to get it. So he has a lot of experience. He's got Australian brands, brands here. He's got brands from South Africa here. Yep. He's got U.S. manufactured brands. He's got Chinese manufactured brands. But rank a one to ten, where do you think this would fall? Oh, uh, that's good. <laughs> that's a good question. So one being not very off-road capable at all. Ten being very, very off-road capable. The most extreme. Yeah, the most extreme. I. It definitely would be above a six maybe okay. seven uh i mean it, it really depends on what off-road you want to do yeah um you know like a patriot campers out of australia it's a much smaller you know and that thing is going to be a 10 it's going to go anywhere your jeep will go this 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 trailer will go more places than a half ton f-150 will go especially if it's stock mm -hmm. um this like just the actual ground clearance on this the departure is better than a stock f-150 yeah. right so it's gonna go anywhere you want it to go um anything above seven just would get scary <laughs> yeah and you know let, let's think of another brand that's becoming more popular like ember you don't carry ember but they've yes. done some really cool things with yeah. their suspension and stuff but i would probably rank an ember maybe like a four yeah maybe three and a half four three and a half I Maybe three and, three and a half, yeah. If I'm gonna say this is a seven, it would be a three and a half. The Ember would have to be a three and a half. Yep, and I so. honestly, I think even the folks at Ember would probably agree with that, <laughs> you know, if they saw how some of this stuff was built. Well, yeah, and, and it's also the robustness. Ember, like, yeah, they've done some cool things that make it more off-road capable. Um, but the materials, the construction is not as, it's still, they're using a lot of standard Indiana, yeah. cheaper. Lippert products. stuff, yeah. Kurt stuff, and stuff that's just not designed purely custom like this stuff yes. is. Yeah, for sure. Very cool. So this is kind of an indoor outdoor unit. So before we go inside, let's go over the little kitchen area right here and yeah, pull that slide yeah. back out. I mean, yeah, we have the fridge you just saw, you have hot and cold water here, and then you have the dual cook burner and then some space for some storage bottle openers for your drinks um, and then like a prep a nice prep space right here where you can throw stuff this closes up and completely out of the way it also is a good little storage area and you got some outlets some plugs here for charging stuff or putting a tv right there if you if you like that type of stuff i love this depth right here because on the black series it didn't have that yeah, it was just, just a tray. it was just a tray and it was a flat wall right here but this <laughs> is actually storage i yeah. love that that is super cool and it's completely sealed off yeah i, I really i really enjoyed that too i put a bunch of stuff i i this so this is just so you know this is the dweller 13 uh there's two models they have the d13 and the d15 which we'll show you the d15 later but this is the d13 and this one is ideal for like a couple Mm -hmm. um you really this is i would say it's made for two people the dweller 15 you can get up over five people in that one with some stuff that we've done with it that one i took to baja uh put a few thousand miles on it mexico and mm -hmm. i was using this storage area really a lot so um but yeah that's the kitchen All, everything tucks in there very cool okay so real quick before we go inside i want you guys to see right now it is 36 degrees outside and it feels like 32. Um, it actually feels colder than that, doesn't it? It's actually pretty, well, we're in the shade. Yeah, right and now. we've been standing out here for like the last hour or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's a little chilly. So we went inside and thankfully one of the wonderful employees out here turned the heat on. Yes, yes. So, oh, first I love these handles yeah, and I like the lock system. Very, very good. And like, look at this stuff too. Like, these are like the little details that you don't notice. Because a lot of people are going to be like, this trailer is a lot more expensive than a standard Jayco. But you know, those little clips yeah. that cost a couple dollars. I mean, this is metal. You you know that it's steel and it's going to lock in nicely. Uh, everything is much more robust. Yep, even the, the windows. These are all dual pane windows too. Yeah, they're all dual pane polycarbonate. Um, this this is a nice aluminum. I mean, if you had a dog, wouldn't be busting through yeah. there. And this is lockable, so you can leave the screen door open. Oh, cool. It slides out. through this portion right here. Yeah. That is very cool. Very cool. And it's a triple, it's a triple locking system. So you have one here, down here, right? So like, you get off-roading and if you're off camber sometimes doors can pop open on like mm -hmm. standard trailers i've seen that and if you lock this up there's no way see that yeah there's no way that's gonna open that is cool so yeah it locks from the top and the bottom yeah very cool let's step inside where the heater is on it is warm all led lighting i love the scene lighting that they put here on the side as well we're stepping inside this very warm rv my theory is 
it's it's almost uncomfortably warm in here, right? It, it it's like 85 been. degrees in here right yeah. now. It's very warm. It's turned up too high. It says it's actually set at 73, but but it, yeah, it's very very warm in here. Yeah, it's very warm. Like I said, this is it's uh, the nice thing is the 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 floor to ceiling is almost six foot six, right? So if you're very tall, you're gonna fit in here just nicely. Uh, king size bed. Uh, oh yeah. And very plush. These are extremely comfortable. Oh, that does look comfortable. And this is the back pop-out area. Oh, okay, so it folds out. Yeah. So these, I can see the hinge right here. These would fold in, and then that would what slide in or collapse down on it. Yeah, and it, it all it folds in and collapse down. Yeah, and then this mattress just. Uh, let me show you. I can show you. This mattress just folds up and over. Oh, so it's kind of like a Murphy bed-ish. Yeah. Whatnot. And then you just pull it like that, and then you would go outside to close the back. Close up. it all up. Yeah. It's just blowing me away right now how warm it is in here. That's crazy that that it's heating this unit up, especially considering you have a hard side and a soft side to it. And the soft side just physically can't be as insulating as the hard side. So yeah. you feel this, it's probably Oh, actually, it's pretty warm on the inside, yeah, too. It's, it's not, done it's a good so job. Bad, yeah. We actually have a video where we did a test, a heat test, on one of these pop tops versus a hard wall. And it surprisingly did pretty well. Yeah. I, I think it's the Truma heater in the units are very, very efficient and are able to put out a lot of heat, over 14,000 BTUs of heat. And Truma is a premium brand in the RV accessories or the RV you know, uh, appliance industry. So if you see the Truma brand on anything, uh, German engineered products, German, right? Yep, it's a German company yep. named after our president, Tru uh, Truman, the actual president of the United States. They asked them if they could name it after him shortly after World War II. Well, I did not know that little started, piece of knowledge. Yeah, they started out in, in 1949 and efficiency has been kind of their goal with everything okay so let's quickly kind of go through what we got going on down here okay every unit comes stock with a renogy inverter system it's a 2000 watt inverter so you can um, run everything off grid uh, you have two uh 300 watt panels this adventure is also your okay. renogy that's a solar charge controller so uh every all of the dwellers come stock with 300 watts of solar on the roof and then they have uh three 100 amp hour uh batteries that looks so, like a uh, on-demand uh water heating system too yeah it's actually it actually has a tank it's oh just, it is a tank yeah, okay trumas are have a little tank in them um they're super efficient though but yeah it's a combi unit so it runs it's forced air and hot water in that trim okay now let's look at some storage here i love these lockable handles Nice storage right there. That is actually your furnace vent right there. And what would this be? That's an air conditioner vent. Okay, so you have furnace and air conditioning vent. Nice drawers. Not super deep, but they take advantage of all the space possible because there's probably an appliance on the other side of that one, which keeps it from being a very d deep drawer, but they still give you a drawer there. Yeah. Got some wardrobe storage right here. And this to me looks like a wet bath. Yes, it is. You can tell by the, the top up here. Very nice. This is a spacious wet bath. Yeah, it's all a big one piece molded fiberglass and, and that shower. Check that out. Up on the roof too, up there. Oh yeah, way up there. So, yeah, so it's not just- Nice LED there. lighting. You got your vent up there. This is so cool. This is such a cool shower. This is the kind of shower unit that I'd like to see in the back of a toy hauler. Well, and it also has a, uh, it's a cassette toilet. Um, which is kind of new in the American market. For us, we've been dealing yeah, with Yeah, we're used to black tanks and gray tanks. Yeah, so. you know, we've been dealing with cassette toilets. I mean, we first started out with standard RVs almost 15 years ago in business, ROA, right? And when we started getting into the off-road off world and Australia stuff, they're, they're huge into cassettes. And at first I was like, oh, I don't know. Like I'm, I like my slinky, mm -hmm. right? Where I can hook up my black tank and just pull a valve and let it all drain out. These are way, way, way more convenient if you're trying to go off-road, off-grid. Yeah, especially in smaller campers where yeah, you, know, you don't need the capacity, maybe. Exactly, and, and you pull that out, that cartridge. When I'm up in the National Forest or the BLM lands, there's always those pit toilets, right, that mm -hmm. are just gravity toilets. You pull that thing out and you walk it and you just dump it in the toilet, bring it back, and you don't have to move your trailer, right? When you have a black tank, you fill it up, you have to 
yeah. break down camp and go find a place to dump, right? You never have to do that with a cassette. That's cool. And I really like that about those. I love the extra storage they have up here as well. So you got storage here. And this all is like marine style storage as well. These are all sealed little compartments. Down here, it looks like access to your plumbing and even a little bit more storage. Yes. Man, it's super nice. Yeah, I mean, this to me feels more like what you would see in a yacht, right? Totally, space absolutely. It has like a catamaran. Feeling. Yeah, it has that yacht feeling. Uh, you know, another thing is, you know, all it's all real wood. This is all uh, solid wood. So you're not dealing with like, uh, you know, the Formica with that wrap sticker wrap that you yeah. see that's so common in travel trailers. And you're just dealing with nice premium hardware and every. And these ones are a little bit deeper than those other ones you were looking at. Very cool. And then huge you, compartments. Yeah, this. Back here. Yeah, we put tons, of, and it's very deep. Yeah, you could you could fit a lot in there. Absolutely. A little light. Like a little shelving. I like how they take advantage of pretty much every area for storage to give it back to you. That is cool. And I'm guessing to collapse the top down, that's what these are for. You pull the handle down, it pulls yep. the top down. Yep. And then you have little vent holes here, I'm guessing, too. So you can open these up and get a little air, air flow coming in. If you're at the beach. Yeah. Get a cross breeze. These 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 windows, these oh, are in these. Eurovision. Um, and they have a nighttime shade. And it's reflective on the other side to for the sun. Or yep. you have the screens. And you can open these things right up. Yeah. Actually, we almost need some of the cool air in now, don't know, we? All right. And they just snap into place. I love these windows. Yeah, and they're very good. It's because they have that dual pane with the gas in the middle of it. So they stay, they give you a good thermal. Mm -hmm. Yep, you got them all around this unit as well. Reading lights, lots of plugs. You see all of these plugs right here, you know, for cell phone, USB, chargers, charging points. And yeah, and those are super deep. Oh, that is cool. Put like Check books in there. You got some more plugs over here on the side. On nice his, reading his lamps. And hers too. Yeah, on both yeah. sides. This is very cool. And then you got a TV mounted on the wall right here as well. These are air conditioning vents, I'm guessing. Yep. Air conditioner. That is great. Very cool. What do you guys think? And then on the way out, we have our tank monitoring, front tank, rear tank, gray tank, voltage, amperage, power disconnect. And real quick, I wanted to show you what the suspension setup looks like as well as the spare tire carrier, which folds down. That is super cool. All LED lighting, really nice powder coated finish on everything. And there is that insane suspension. Yeah, two gas shocks, an A-arm with a coil. And that's to me what makes these so capable off-roading. Yeah, I love the stabilization arms that come down here as well as the, the shackles. So you can yank on this thing if you need to get it out of a tough spot. Very, very cool. And we have, we've gotten them into tough spots and we've got them out of tough yeah. spots, so. Okay, coming around to the front, you can see they have this really cool extreme off-road 500 series arc. Arc jack, so this, the idea is if you put this into a lower position, you could use this as a recovery uh, mechanism, but it's also to hook up to your very truck. Cool. Fully articulating front coupler assembly. Yeah, you get some extra storage Love up Love the here. parking brake. Parking brake, yep. So you don't have to get your wheel yeah. chocks or your blocks or your rocks. And you got spot for two propane cans. Can You You could fit up to a 40 pound can oh, in there, couldn't sure. you? Oh, for sure, yeah. It's there's no there's height. No, there's yeah. no height restriction. That is super cool. Uh, these are, this is one of my favorite. This is where I call it my, my man cave or my garage. Oh, that is awesome. And look at this how, and they feel really strong. And These trailers, almost have too much storage for the size of the trailer. Yeah, so seriously. Like, just, and then same with, and that's a pretty deep storage area. Yeah, no, that's a great, and it's trimmed off very nicely too. Yeah, we've done, yeah, they, they finished it inside. Super cool. This is such a beautiful camper. And honestly, this is a this is the kind of thing that if you want something small, something that's easily towable by a lot of half-ton trucks, a lot of full-size SUVs, this is absolutely the kind of camper you can tow and really take it anywhere. And like he said, this is going to be more off-road capable than probably the tow vehicle you're using to get this out with. Oh, outside sure. shower, city water outside, connection. Yeah, outside shower connections and, and then your exhausts and your power hookup. It's just a standard 30 amp 
and mm -hmm. uh, we it, we're famous for our long tours. So if you want crazy amount of detail, I have an hour long walkthrough of this on our YouTube channel. At Which ROA, is ROA Off Road. Yep. So Very just good. our RVs of America and look up Dweller Thirteen full tour we have full we have playlists with full tours and we go in tons and tons of depth and i'm going to take a guess i told him i wanted to guess the price and the price range and he would correct me if i'm wrong or tell me if i'm right my theory on this just because i've seen a lot of rvs and i'm thinking you know nicer than an airstream construction wise um from what i've seen out there with current pricing mid 70s uh, not quite. Um, actually, we're going to be in between 40 and 50 grand depending on the year and some of the little options. So around 40 to 50. Wow. And do you actually publish your actual sales price on your website? Yeah, everything's on our website. We have like the list on some of the new units and then we also have in stock inventory, but the pricing is there. Um, brand new, you're going to be around 50, but you can get some some of the ones we have are listed under that so yep and i hate it when places say call for pricing so yeah. you guys say you're pricing that is super no, cool we, yeah we say our pricing great anyways we are going to take a look at the next unit here in line another video guys if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up check out their channel and we'll talk to you again very soon